the star of the opening ceremony, now a star attraction. The Commonwealth Games have breathed new life into Birmingham. Busy, bright and bustling. The city centre is buzzing. You can't sum it up, to be honest. This is something that has brought everybody together, as you can see. All everybody from all walks of life so it's fantastic people very hyped about this it's it's really good great for the athletes too england's nick miller taking gold in the hammer throw the energy in the stadium for this championships has just been overwhelming um i mean the roar of the crowd is unbelievable and it's not just the home fans but the many visitors to the city impressed by what they've seen ah oh, mate fair crack during um, during the games obviously there's a bit of buzz around yeah it's, it's a great atmosphere great city to be around it's a lot more modern than i was thinking to be fair because yeah we've got this idea that it's really industrial that old image of birmingham has been replaced by pictures shown around the world of a revitalized city i would say the games have been huge for birmingham um, it's put birmingham on the map not only in the uk but more importantly worldwide it's shown that the city is open for business and that business couldn't be more welcome in a city centre that fell quiet during COVID. We've really struggled after the pandemic, not really sure and a bit of uncertainty about how things would go. But it's been great to see the city alive. And we've been extremely busy from about five minutes after we open our doors every day. So it's been great. It's been fantastic. Organisers promised that the Games would bring investment and improvement to Birmingham. But the price was high. £778 million of public money was spent delivering these games. The challenge is to make that count by building on all of this to create a lasting legacy for the future. But for now, they're celebrating success. I mean, it's been buzzing from day one and it's just, uh, it brings the whole city alive and we're all from Birmingham and we're proud of Birmingham and we're so pleased that everybody else is just having such a phenomenal time. And the party's not over yet. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Birmingham.